Hi everybody, Amy White with Worthy Written Words, and today we're going to work on this Let Your Light Shine layout that is in the New Testament. So the first thing we're going to do is take the piece of vellum in our kit, and we're going to cut it to the size of our Bible pages so that it's a perfect fit. And it may already work with what came in your kit, and if not, then you just need to trim it to make it the right size. Then we're going to take some washi tape and we're going to make a light beam out of this washi tape by putting the washi tape across, starting with verse 14 and then ending with verse 17, I believe. And you're going to make it so that you can see all of the verse, but at a slight angle so that it looks like, you can kind of see how I'm doing it here. It looks like a beam of light when it's filled in yellow. And it's just going to be the area that we want to be seen. Once again, you're seeing verses 14, 15, and 16. And then the washi tape is going to be up above that in verses 13 and 17. And you're going to have them meet at the end. After that, you can take the page off and we're going to take our yellow Distress Ink and our mini ink blending tool and one of the foam pads. And we're going to just uh, rub the mini Distress Ink inside that washi tape and try as hard as you can not to get it outside the washi tape. If you do get it outside the washi tape, I'll show you what to do because I did it here. It's, it'll add a little wrinkle to your page, but it's not that big of a deal. So we're adding the yellow. We're just blending it around until it's the brightness that we want it to be. When this is done, we'll give it a minute and either blast it with our heat tool or we'll just let it sit until we know it's dry. And then when we know that it's dry, we will carefully pull off the washi tape. Now you can see I have a little bit of yellow up above where I don't want it to be. So I'm just going to spray that with some water and then I'm going to use a dry paintbrush to soak that water up. And as I'm doing so, it will soak up the white, I'm sorry, the yellow extra ink. And then I'm going to dry it as fast as I can. You can see there's a little wrinkle in the page. And even after I dry it really well, that wrinkle isn't going to go away. So try to avoid this mistake if you can. But if there's a little wrinkle, it's not that big a deal at the end. I guess it just depends on how, how much you care about that sort of thing. So now we're going to repeat what we did, except this time we're gonna put the washi tape on the inside of the light beam. And this is so that we can add the clouds without putting them on the light beam and worrying about covering the light beam with gray or black ink, that we wouldn't wanna do that. So we're going to put this on to cover the entire light beam and anywhere that's not part of the light beam, we're going to cut it off so that we can get the ink outside the light beam. And here I think I use my scissors like a razor blade and I just kind of very lightly go over my washi tape because if I do it too hard, it's gonna cut through the vellum. And I didn't do that, um, but that's risky if you decide to go that route. It's very easy, you could cut through the vellum if you push too hard. That's how I got such a good, um, a good break on my washi tape right there is by doing that. And I cover up the entire light beam, not just the outsides. I did the whole thing. The next step is going to be creating the clouds that go on our vellum page. To do this, we're going to start by removing the yellow foam pad on our mini ink blending tool, and we're going to replace it with the new one. You don't want to reuse the same pads because it will ruin the Distress Oxide pads by combining the colors. Now using the cardstock, you're going to start on the cardstock itself and blend in circles your way up. And th what this does is it makes it so that the majority of the ink is placed right where the stencil is and then as you work yourself up, then the ink displacement is lighter. So you never want it to be fully the same consistency the whole way up, otherwise you it'll be hard to tell the difference between the clouds. So the stencil is not wide enough to go over the entire width, so you just have to match it back up. And then when you're done with that side, you're gonna just kind of choose a different side of, of the cloud stencil and place it maybe an inch or so down. And you're going to just repeat the same thing starting on the stencil and working your way up be very light when you go all the way up to where the other cloud stencil starts. 
and you're going to repeat this all the way down the page. If you feel like it's all slipping around and you can't hold it still, feel free to put washi tape on the stencil to hold it in place. Now we're going to attach the water sticker to the footnotes of the page, which is page seven. And then we're gonna just remove any excess that's hanging off the sides or the bottom. Putting the cloud vellum page back on, we're going to see where the light beacon meets. And we're going to take a pen and put a little tiny dot on the page underneath right where that is. And this is gonna let us know where we need to put our lighthouse. So we get our lighthouse sticker and we line it up where we want the light to meet with that sticker. And it's adjustable, if you mess up, you can move it around for a little bit. And then if any extra comes off, then you can just trim that up. Then after that, we're going to put the rock stickers on and the seagulls and all the other little uh, detailed stickers. You can put them wherever you want. And if they hang off, if they need to hang off, just trim them off. And they're repositionable for the first little bit, but after it's been a few minutes of them sticking somewhere, then it would be best to leave them where they're at. To attach the vellum to the binding, we're going to use a glue stick and we're going to push hard enough on the glue stick so that it covers both sides of the page. And so you can kind of see that I'm putting about maybe a quarter of an inch on both sides of this page and I put a lot on and then I put it into the binding of my book and then I'm going to close my book and I'm going to let it sit for a little while. You can even put uh, some other hard books on top of it, some heavy weight on top of it, but let it sit for a little while. 
And then after that, we're going to add the Let Your Light Shine sticker on top of the vellum. And because it's on the vellum, I'm covering the words up because you can see it just by flipping the vellum page. Finally, we're going to put together the bookmark. So by taking the little felt, we're going to cut it or trim it so that it will fit on the back of the lighthouse. And then we're using a hot glue stick. First, we're going to attach the yellow circle to the top. And you try not to add too much glue because you don't want it uh, pushing out the sides and making a big mess. And then we're going to add the paper clip underneath it and then put the felt right on top of that paper clip to secure it in place. And that is how you do the bookmark. And then we're going to add that to the top of our vellum and attach it using the washi tape. And that is the last thing we're doing. And then this page is all done. If you want, you can add some more design to the washi tape uh, if you don't like it just being plain. But this is the last and final step. So I hope you guys had fun making this layout in your scripture journals with me today. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned so that you don't miss any future releases. And we will see you guys next time. Bye.